Oh, good day, good day, good day. How are we doing? Uh, that's a bad start, isn't it? Tell you what, let's do some of uh, Clickaroo. We're going to do the return, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, for our Larnaca trip on this rather rainy Sunday. Um, although, uh, yeah, I don't know when this video will go live, but it's, uh, it's Sunday for me. But here we go. That's the route we have planned. It's the company route for British Airways. Um, they fly this route on a Friday uh, as well. So uh, in an A320neo. No, I don't have the neo, unfortunately, but... Uh, uh, cl close as we can get and <laughs> I don't think they're flying this flight anyway at the moment given the uh, current uh, state of affairs with travel so this is you know fairly reasonable it, nothing too surprising ever so slightly different from our route out our route out was quite similar up until this point and then we actually skirted down uh, across Croatia uh, and the south side of Kosovo um, and then sort of we came down past roads and cars this way, so it's sort of a parallel track. Don't know why the return flight's ever slightly different, but anyway, tis what it tis. So if we have a quick look at the charts, um, it, it's just loading up in the background. In fact, there we go, we can see it has just loaded. I've spawned us in at uh, gate 26, which is where we finished up um, yesterday. Uh, so we'll come back to those charts in a moment. Now I have, oh, for Pete's sake, I've just reinstalled the Lana Casinery and rebooted. I actually had to reboot for another reason, but it's still completely and utterly balked. I don't know why. That's the annoying thing. If I knew why, I could fix it. If we have a look at my scenery file, just so you know, I'm not being a complete doofus. Uh, and let's actually load it fresh. So, uh, FSX scenery config. Larnaca. Priority 4 after Jersey. And Gibraltar neither of which are anywhere near Larnaca. So it's got all the priority. Oh, you, yeah, you're not going to see that. I, I've just looked over at Streamlabs and seen how small that text is. Um, yeah, anyway, take my word for it if you can't see it. It's, it's priority four. That's Jersey, and then that's Gibraltar Airport and Gibraltar Terrain. And then we've got Larnaca, Madeira and Porto Santo sort of go hand in hand. Uh, these are old. I need to get rid of these, but they're not actually. They're, they're disabled in the scenery config file, um, which I could equally just open up Notepad and do it that way. But this bit of freeware scenery config editor, miles better way of doing it. Nice, nice little GUI. Uh, and then I've got my UK 2000 stuff, and then Orbex, and then Netherlands 2000. So we saw some of that in the uh, P38 Lightning video open lc and then down into all your default nonsense so there's, there's nothing overriding it there's no like land classes or, or orbex above it or anything like that i don't uh quit the note saving i genuinely don't know what's up i'm assuming it's some sort of z fighting but because we saw the the dude yesterday the guy who was in the treble uh and he was, you know, 100 and something foot above us. So, but everything else is loading in. I mean, the jetways are loading in, albeit non-operational. Or at least they weren't operating yesterday. Uh, I think I need my parking brake on, actually, for the jetway to work. Oh, take my feet off the pedals. That would help. Uh, is it Control J or Shift J? I can never remember. Let's press both, see what happens. We've seen a bit far out. No, it might not be a so jetway anyway. Actually, I I, I don't know. Um, it's the Aerosoft um, Larnica anyway. Well, whatevs, whatevs, as they say. Um. So I suppose first things first. 
let us click some buttons. So we are Speedbird665 Yankee. I don't know why there's a Yankee at the end, but anyway, there is. Uh, file the flight plan in vPilot. There we go. BA Virtual. We're going to tickaroo that button. And the BA Virtual Flight Tracker is now... The number of times I forgot to start it. Oh, my days. Now, it also detects when you start your pushback or you start moving. Oh, brilliant. Love it. 10 out of 10. Uh, Matt and the other guys who coded that. Absolutely fantastic. So, let's get the batteries on and let's flick on the external power. Um, and then let's just check our ground services. Yeah, everything's connected good, so we're not going to randomly run out of battery adairs come on i know i do this in my own order rather than the proper order as per the sop um but the main you know it gets the job done as you saw yesterday and then click that button to align the ins um you can put it on faster line and stuff in the settings but i think i've got it on some medium realistic ish sort of thing uh, let's actually nudge the brightness up a smidge because it's nice and sunny here in Cyprus. So let's get those on. That's one thing I hate. I wish I knew how to set it so that these panels were already on. Anyway, it's not a biggie. It's not a big biggie. Um, we'll do a pop out on there. Is that any better for you? No, it's really not, is it? So I can't go in that much because I can't see the keyboard. Uh, something like that. I hope you can see something here. So we're going from LCLK, as you can see at the bottom of your screen, to EGLL. So Lanaka to Heathrow. And thankfully it's saved. Brilliant. Click that button, it'll load in the route. And we're in BA6. No, that's wrong. 665. Getting closer. Getting close. I tell you what, I I'm pretty sure there isn't. In fact, no, I know that there isn't a BA666. Uh, cost index is going to be zero. Cruise is quite low, 320. Our alternate is Gatwick, which is Kilo Kilo. Uh, and I haven't got a route for that. And then our fuel... Oh, bugger. Right, I'm going to have to load PFPX. Uh, I was hoping to avoid that. I, I did it, then I had to reboot. And I was hoping I could get away with not loading PFPX back up, but I forgot about the fuel. Uh, we'll turn the rad on. Uh, one, two, two, decimal act. Uh, I want that on that. I'm going to remember to do that today, and I'm going to remember to do that. So this is the weather radar down here. Um, I've just set the tilt above, uh, and I'll give it a bit of a nudge on the gain. Uh, it's not on until I flick this switch. Uh, so we're not going to start bathing the guys here in lots and lots of uh, radio radiation goodness. Uh, this is your transponder. I've got a horrible feeling. It's not saved. Oh, beans. Oh, massive beans. Oh, poopies. Poopy, poopy, poopy. Um... Right, I'll tell you what, let's, let's show you what I'm scratching mad over. Oh, again, you're not going to see this. So this is PFPX, Professional Flight Planner X. Um, this is what I use to plan the flight, and then there's a nice export button that saves it into the correct Aerosoft Airbus directories so that the flight computer picks it up like you saw there. Uh, Vpilot picks it up for the whole VATSIM side of things, and so on and so forth. And if I was in an Embraer, or the 7, 8, it saves it in the correct format, in the correct directories. Top bit of software, unfortunately it's payware and it's, it's not the cheapest. Um, and it's really sluggish, it's quite slow software. But anyway, for what, what it does is, it, it is top. Uh, miles better than Simbrief. 
Simbrief is is really good um, and it is significantly better actually than the last time I used it and it was really good back then anyway um, so that's you know it's perfectly fine um, but you just have to fart about dragging and dropping files into directories and you know I'm lazy what can I say um, and on here I can key in uh, for example BA665 and there we have it BA665 uh, and I've loaded this in from British Airways Virtual uh, and it's got all the stuff in and all the aircraft profiles and the cost indexes and the fuel and blah 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 so you don't have to think too hard yeah saying not planned oh bummer Huh. Right, okay, well. I know what my zero fuel weight is. What's my maximum takeoff weight? And I'm just I'm just gonna brim it. I'm just gonna brim the tanks. Uh a three two one M two Wikipedia for the win. Cause I reckon we're gonna be pretty close to M two to be honest. Well I don't know that I'm I'm completely guessing. So we are in the A three twenty one 100 or 200? Huh. I'm assuming we're in the 200. I don't actually know. Let's assume 200. That's a, <laughs> that's a really bad assumption to make. But assume that the takeoff weight, maximum takeoff weight, is 93 tonnes. That seems heavy. What was our block fuel? On the way out, something like 14.5 tons, was it not? So, if our zero fuel weight is near enough 71 tons, 70, so that's 86 tons, if we took the same amount, which is above the maximum takeoff weight for the 100 series for the 100 variant so clearly it's not that uh what was, what was i say 86 but it's under 93 um so i reckon if i take 15 17 18 if i take 19 tons that should be i'm completely eyeballing that i don't know we did have a tailwind on the way out and so on and so forth I should redo the planning. Am I gonna? <laughs> I've already told you I'm too I'm far too blooming lazy. Right, okay, fine, let's do that then. So passengers 186. Pardon me. Car oh see I don't know what the cargo is now. Sure it was eight tons. That's interesting. It's saying the max takeoff weight is 89. And the maximum fuel we can take is 19 tons. Right. Well, 19, 19 it is then. Let's start boarding the passengers. <laughs> hey. Make sure you've texted home with your, uh, your, <laughs> your dying wishes. Aye, aye, aye. Um, so is this going to tell us, what does the net load sheet do? I don't know. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. Uh, 186, wasn't it? 186. 
and then cargo i've got a feeling it said eight but when i was just skimming through the flight plan damn i wish i'd saved that before i rebooted you melon um yeah start filling her up start getting the people on Is this number increasing? Or is that what it's calculated? So let's just go with four tons of cargo. Sell with it. Completely wing it. If we come in low fuel, then well, good training for, for the low fuel pan. It's not a pan anymore, I don't think, but anyway. Uh, doors. We need to open the cargo doors to actually load cargo. Would make sense. Open the pigging door. Right, okay, you're not opening the door. Uh, load cargo. Right, okay, cool. There we are. What did I say? 19 tons on the block. Fuel. Click. In it goes. Good, can forget about that now and pretend it never happened. Uh, actually, I wonder... Yeah, it gives us our takeoff weight there. So we can actually key that into the takeoff performance calculator, so at least we'll get a fighting chance of getting off the ground. Um, in fact, while I'm down here, let's do the uh... no. We can't do that, can we? So, yeah, we need TPC for that. Um, what we can do, though, actually, is have a look at the flight plan. It's runway two two. Are we going back off two two again? Are we? Let's have a look. Active sky conditions. Uh... <laughs> L C L K. Precipitation none pressure is 1015 again still. Let's key that in before I forget. 1015 and 10 whoops 1015. Temperature 20 degrees. It's exactly what it was yesterday. Uh 286 8 knots. That's changed slightly. So two, yeah, so we're gonna we're going off two two. Uh, so, two, two. so we've got a pre moderate crosswind. That's very similar. Is that even exactly the same as what it was yesterday? I don't know. Whatever's. Um, so we can't do any more down there yet. Uh, we can turn on the pumps. Uh, Jenny's will be coming on soon. We can flick on some lights. And we can, no, we don't want to fire up a poo until we've got all the fuel on. Yeah, that's taking its sweet time. We can click the magic button to do it. Or I might well do that. I would be showing you lovely external views, but I mean, it's completely balked. I'd, I don't know why. I wonder. Aerosoft Madeira, Aerosoft, LXDB. No, there's no like start menu utility that I might have to dig into it and uh, uh, and see if there's any like X's or something in the directory it installed in or. Because something's clearly balked. Uh, in fact, I wonder. If I go to uh, general. No, that's not what I wanted. Let's scenery library. Oh, scenery library there. Yeah. Oh, you can't see that. Um. Yeah, Larnaca number three. There is nothing that would clash. I, I don't know. I don't know. I might do a full uninstall, reinstall, blah, blah, blah. 
these people on yet? No, they're not. Well, hurry up. Right, shove them through the door. Load instant. Boom! In like sin. Right, okay, so aircraft doors. We can close the cargo and we can close the main door. Which means we can fire up a poo. Stick the bleed on because I always forget. And we shall stick the beacon Captain, on. Kevin, now then, if we go to that page and then that page, right, our takeoff weight, 85.3 tonnes. 85.3 tonnes, right, remember that. Remember that the number. Eight, pod start, 83.5 tonnes. Uh, 83,000, yeah, 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 that's correct. Okay, cool. Uh, headwind component is going to be quite small because it's uh, crosswind. Airport elevation, right, okay, let's have a look at the charts. I'll just do this on to the screen. Uh, elevation, 11 feet. Oh, yeah, we're right on the sea. Uh, oh, we're in a 321. Elevation is not very many. Uh, take off, right, we're going to take full length. <laughs> such a child, such a child. And we've got less than 3,000 metres, basically. Yeah, about that. Outside air temperature was a whopping 20 degrees, so we're in that bracket. Q&H is 1015, which is that bracket. Flaps 1, we'll see if we can get away with flaps 1. Uh, and it's very, very dry. In fact, it's even given us a fairly decent D rate. So clearly, it tinks, we can do the things. So, let's key all of that in because again i think it's too small you can quite see that so v1 our safety speed for takeoff 146 our rotational speed is 149 uh, and v2 which is our safe flying speed is 153 the definitions are a bit more involved than that but that's sort of loosely what it is um, and the trim it gave us is one up three. That is utter drivel. Um, so I'm going to go with a standard trim of one up one, which I know is correct. Oh, you melon. Can I not click that and it pop? No. One slash up one point naught. Click. And our flex temp is 40 degrees C, so that's for your D rate. Okay, so our standard instrument departure, where's our first waypoint? Paphos. So looking at the charts, I need to get a stream deck. Ay, ay, ay. Um, so we're on 2-2, two, two, so it's not going to be Paphos 1 Delta because that's on 0-4. So it's going to be the 2 Bravo. 2 Bravo, as you can see on that wire there, that line. Um, and yeah, we're up, up and away. Okay, cool. Right, well that's fairly straightforward. Uh, so runway 2-2 two, two, and we're on the Paphos 2 Bravo. Quick check that I'm not going mad. That is correct. And then if we flick the PFD on the MFD, technically, um, we can then scroll through this route. And there's Paphos there. So I'll zoom out a smidge. really that far to the first waypoint gosh it is um we do have an ndb let's key in an ndb we've not done one for a while it's on it's lanaka ndb on 432 click lca lanaka fantastic um and we can actually flip that on that a screen as well no meant
Cool, so that's in. That's all good. This is all good. Uh, that's good. Radio's good. Is a poo. Oh, a poo's on. I did that. Fantastic. We'll arm the doors. Seatbelt and no smoking sign should come on as well. In fact, let's leave the no smoking sign off since I'm vaping away. And, uh, right, we're burning fuel. Let's get the show on the road. P1, 4, push back, tail left. Quick check that air traffic hasn't just come on. No, it has not. And back we go. See the N2 coming up. Hi, Caron. Been watching lots of Edwin. Hi, Caron. Capron. Right, so fuel flow is some, and there is temperatures, meaning that ignition's happened, which is good. So let's fire up engine number one. Two's not stable yet, but be ready. Uh, we can go back to our con there. Well, I might have it on that one actually. Uh, do want constraint though. And I'll remember to start the watch. That guy is not is going into Beirut, so not an issue. You're going to Kiev in Ukraine, so that's not an issue. Uh, flight controls. Trim up one. That's that little number there. You're not going to see it. It's not really that important. Uh, so, right, hydraulics should be up. Wait a minute. Yes, both engines. Good start. Uh, engine selector to normal. And a poo can come off. Strobes to auto. Taxi lights on. Dark cockpit, no lights, that is what we want to see. So, flight controls, full left, full right, neutral, full up, full down, neutral, ruder, full left, full right, neutral. Auto brake, max. Spoilers, armed, flaps, one. Brakes away. Flight level 320 and dots on everything else. Oh yeah, we is heavy. And we're not turning because I've still got thingy disconnected. There we go. Brake check. Ha 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 ha. Eat brake pedal pressed and check zero. Fantastic. Checking zero down here. And in the absence of a taxiway, I am going to taxi on whatever this is supposed to be. <laughs> uh, auto throttle can come on. That is perfectly fine. Yeah, it looks like this is supposed to be a taxiway. In case of an emergency, I think it's highly likely. I'll be impressed if we even get off to ground. Well, TPC seems to think so, but I'm not overly convinced. There's your crosswind. Nothing major. Floppy sock. Cool check. Yep, yeah, take off no bloat. Fantastic.
Uh, let's go move Charlie on V pilot. And let's get ourselves ready for takeoff. TARA. Weather radar is going on, skis. Lights on. Any traffic? No. Good out. It's a reasonably long runway, so I'm not overly panicking, but we are mega heavy. Gosh, I need to grease up these rudder pedals. There, <laughs> it's not a smooth motion. It's and you know what my taxi is like. It's bad at the best of times, so uh, at least I've got an excuse. Oh, what's that? Have we got? We've even got static aircraft here, but we haven't got a taxiway. What is going on? Right. Well, we're going to backtrack. We've got no traffic, so whatever. Is there a um? Oh no, we're still on a taxiway. Oh, ne nearly did a Harrison Ford. Bless him. In fact, Harrison Ford landed on a taxiway, didn't he? And did he do it more than once? Can't remember. Can't remember. If it looked like this, I wouldn't blame him, but I'm pretty sure it didn't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you don't have to contend with FSX scenery IRL. Right, that's Terminal 2, for want of a better word. I think they primarily use that for GA and local... Uh, flying clubs and local businesses and, and private jets and stuff like that. As far as I'm aware, Terminal 1, uh, I'm assuming it's called Terminal 1, but anyway, that one is the main entrance to the airport. And I do vaguely recognise the layout of that from real life. I don't recognise this. But it's very possible we parked up here. I I'm just not remembering it properly. Oh, there's another windsock. Noise. Actually, look at that. Oh, first time ever. This shows how heavy we are. 19 knot taxi. Actually in regs. Who'd have thunk it? And I've actually got a bit of throttle on. Normally, in... in you know, most of the airbuses you taxi at idle power and you're still accelerating up to 30 knots. So that's really showing you how heavy we are. And I am rather on edge about this takeoff. So I'm going to do a semi performance takeoff. So you let the engine sort of spool up a little bit and then release the brakes. That was a bit of an aggressive turn. And I'm going to pinch all the runway, just in case, because, as I say, we've got that uncertainty. You would never fly with that uncertainty. You'd recalculate. Well, you, you wouldn't have to reboot your computer to get your flight plan in the first place. But anyway, I'm being, being lazy, as we know. We'll do, do the uh, video, same format as we did um, on Saturday, yesterday. Uh, so we'll get up to cruise and then... Um, that will be part one, and then part two will be the approach into Heathrow. And I would expect we'll probably have some control for most of that. Okay, all good. Right, three, two, one, now. Into the uh, flex D-rate. Up come the engines. Brakes off. Pardon me. Man flex, 40 degrees, SRS and more. Runway is verified by our magnetic heading because I can't see any numbers. I'm almost full rudder. 
Yeah, this is gopping, isn't it? What's, what's up with this scenery? That's a hell of a D rate. I am not convinced it's calculated that correctly. There's a very good chance you, you put rubbish data in, you get rubbish data out. There's V1. Rotate. Try not to slam the tail on the floor because, again, I'm not overly convinced about these numbers. Ay, 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 that was close to a skid. And we say goodbye to that balked scenery. We'll be coming back here. We will be coming back here. Probably not in a 320 or, or in an Airbus at all. Mm, place your bets. Okay, so we're up, so we can disarm the spoilers. And we can get vaguely on course. Uh, we can take that screen off. Pretty good on the flight director. Wouldn't really say we're accelerating, but that's fine. We have now reached our acceleration altitude. So throttles go back to the cruise detent sorry the climb detent which is that one there nose comes down and we start speeding up as soon as we hit the green flaps will come up that's close enough for me up come the oh, slats and there is a bit of flap i think it puts out which then releases us to speed up even further And I'm going to give us an unrestricted climb. Runway turn-off lights can come off. Nose lights can come off. Just leaving the landing lights on. Noth nothing up and above. That's good. And why haven't we got... Oh, because I never actually put the ADF on, you melon. Uh, yeah, it's now behind us, so it's irrelevant. Never mind. So the ADF then, I can flick that between VOR, uh, the VOR, off, or the ADF. We keyed in the Larnaca ADF, um, NDB, sorry, which is actually marked on the map here, LCA. Uh, and the arrows are pointing backwards, so that's telling us it's behind us. Um, that's not really of any use whatsoever now, so we might as well leave that off. And go to our nice arc. And the weather here is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, I tell thee. And we're basically giving it the beans straight out to sea. We're about to do a right hand turn, getting us up to flight level 320. Now, quick sanity check make sure that 320 is within our restrictions. Uh, Recommended maximum 325, that's fine. Is it? Okay. Vape on. Here we are. Just approaching a Remex. Um, we'll go to standard pressure now as well because the transition was 9,000 feet. And we've just passed that. And we're coming up on uh, flight level 100 now, then, so we can turn off and retract the landing lights. There's flight level 100. Yeah, you can't see that. Oh, I suppose you got it at the bottom of your screen down here. I don't. I can't see that unless I look at Streamlabs. So. And up we go. More or less a straight line now towards Paphos, which is over here somewhere, I think. Yeah, 40 miles on the nose and on the coast. And where's our top of climb? Oh, it's quite far out. It's 160 miles to top of climb. I don't believe that. And as I say, we are heavy. 
Um, ah, tell you what, right, now we're up and, uh, up and about. What we can do is we can click that button. Destination fuel on board, 7.5 tonnes. Bit much, but not disastrous. Um, but it's not a negative number. That's the important thing. We put enough fuel on. Uh, and that's, yeah, we're golden. We'll be a bit heavy on landing, but it won't. It won't be uh, too bad. You can always dump fuel. I don't actually know how you do that in this. Uh, that's the rat. Which is not even clickable. Uh, yellow electric pump I assume we don't use. Cross feed is auto. So where's... I don't think you can fuel dump in the Aerosoft Airbus. Obviously in the real life you can, but... Uh, so what, rather than crooking my head like an absolute melon, let's press... No, that's... Why is that a preset? Oh, there we go. Um... Right, can you guys see this? Can I zoom or do any chase plane? No, not really. Well, if you can see this, well done. Um, I'm not actually seeing anything that, that is fuel dump related. It would, I would expect it would be in the fuel panel, which is here, nicely labelled fuel. So we've got a poo, we've got cross feed, we've got transfers, we've got mode selectors. Nothing that indicates a fuel dump. So what do you do if you want to take a dump? There's ditching, but that's pre cabin pressurization. I wonder if it is like here or something in, in real real life. GPWS, ground oxygen, blah blah blah, flight control, blah. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. That's where I'd expect it to be. Um, I wouldn't expect it to be down here. Unless it's done through the computer. Uh, fuel. No. I don't think it is. It would, I, I would expect it to be a, a push button. At least a push button to confirm. Maybe you set how much you want to dump in the computer. But then an actual button to to make it do the things. It's not going to be on that because that's more aerosofty stuff. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If anyone knows or finds the FS Lab, so I'm sure it's probably on that one. Um, oh, I wonder if it's up there. It's not going to be somewhere like e particularly easy to reach because it's not something you do a lot. Fadec engine, hydraulics, oxygen source, blah blah blah. No, it's not any of these, and they're not clickable anyway. That's fuses; they're irrelevant. Um. There's audio, cockpit door, video. No, not seeing it. Alright, just passing flight level 217. 218. Does it still reckon our top of climb is like 100 miles away or something ridiculous? It does. Maybe it's... I don't know. I find that hard to believe. Because we're already, you know, we're doing doing decent speeds. We're not struggling or hurting for speeds. I just heard the thrust. Let me just give that a nudge. Um, so. Yeah, it is. And it is recalculating that light. It's not. Huh. Flight level 320, yeah, yeah, no, we're, 
we're all keyed in, right? It'll, it'll be right. I'm sure it will. Obviously, we, we do need to speed up a smidge. I mean, obviously, we're doing 300 and something knots at the moment. But as we climb higher, pressure drops and you lose some of that airspeed, as it were. But your Mach number stays reasonably constant. And because the air's thinner and blah, 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 it takes more... It takes more time to accelerate and more time to climb because you've got less air molecules to either chuck out the back of the engine to make you go forwards or um, less air molecules going over the wing to push downwards so you get pushed upwards, lift loosely. Well, I think this is about to get very, very dull, so this will be a good time to stop. Uh, as you can see by the black bar at the top of the screen, that's how much of the flight we have done. Um, still got a fair old yomp to go. Yeah, see, that looks disgusting now. I've increased the, uh, the thing. But anyway, we'll be going pretty much through the centre of Europe and then into London and uh, you will see us again on video two on part two um, roughly I don't know 50 100 miles something like that before our top of drop unless we get air traffic and something interesting happens in which case I'll uh, I'll smash the record button and uh, we can have something a bit more interesting to talk about but for now we are climbing out we have passed Paphos there's Paphos International Airport down there, the other main international airport on Cyprus. Uh, and we are just steadily climbing this heavy beast up to flight level 320, where we shall sit until we get to the other end, back in Blighty, and see the cliffs and so on and so forth. So until then, see you shortly.